So hi guys, welcome back to my channel and we have finally started episode 2 and it will be a very interesting part and I had to restart this game like I had to rewind this episode so usually when you first start it they do show you like a preview and things like that but I don't think that will happen for this because as I have said I am I have rewinded this so technically they count this as I have already started to play and blah 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 so yes I don't think you guys really need a review or an overview I guess but last time Glenn left us because he wanted to help his friends in Atlanta and uh, Doug died because we had to save Carly and Larry, freaking Larry, he punched us in the face, so we almost did not make it out alive. But fortunately, Kenny was there, so yes, because of Kenny, we were able to come back alive. <laughs> I feel like I'm repeating the same words over and over again, but yes. So, uh, we have Kenny, Katja, Duck, Clementine, Lee, Carly... Larry and Lily. So we have eight people. And one more. His name is Mark. But yeah. He just comes out. I don't know if there's a backstory to him. I think there actually is. But that's later on in this episode. So we'll, we'll not think about that for now. Okay, so it's three months later, and we're gonna kill this guy. So there is Mark. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Carly, I will cut some slacks. Lily yeah, and Larry, definitely right. not. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He thinks I'm a danger to the group, and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! 
Okay, so I said this in the previous part, I think, but I'm going to be siding with Kenny no matter what. Lily and Larry, I really don't care. I did give Lily a benefit of the doubt when I played her personally, but this time, I don't think I'm going to do that. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know, guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Okay, Just then you, you can get him you out. Do it. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. This isn't our problem. We should go. No, no, please. At least just look at the trap. Just look at it and maybe you can tell us how to get it off. Please help me. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Okay, so I took off my headphones because... Oh, no. I don't know. I didn't want to hear anything gross. <laughs> Shit. But then... Oh, I actually memory. helped the Please. teacher when I played it personally. Mark, so get this the boys time, down. I am not Kenny, gonna help him. I'm not gonna cut me. his legs off. Because that's the only way he could do. In order to help the teacher. Lee, do something! Oh, God! Get Please, save this! Yes. The only way you can help the teacher is so much by cutting already. the trap Please off, and that's up. really not helping, though. Hurry. So. Ah. This can't be happening. Ah. God damn it! Let's go. Let's go. Oh man! Oh man! I'm... Come on! Please hurry! Oh, he oh, oh, he's now. in a really bad Fuck. situation. Please, I don't want to do leave this. Him like this. I don't want to do this. Damn, Damn, I'm not gonna cut his leg off. You don't have time for that. I'm sorry. I'm but sorry, we but have to there's go gotta now. be something we can do. I want my leg. I want... Damn it, this is bad. Really bad. Oh Jesus, those things are gonna out, be here please. soon. All that blood and screaming. We're gonna be surrounded around. any minute. This is bad. This is so bad. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh God, God, there's so many of them. Jesus, I need I'm to just walk. Wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Maybe one swing. <laughs> but, as I've said, I am not no, no, going no. to Try the trap listen to Anything, any of this. Please. I have my headphones covered as well because this is so totally not my thing. This is to so totally gross. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, so once I chop it, I have to continue on? I thought I was only going to do it once. Oh god, this is so gross. Come on. We gotta go now. No. Okay. Uh, no, don't leave me. Maybe I. Damn it, Lee. Uh, I'm sorry. No, we can't leave Mr. Parker like that. Give me the gun. Uh, uh, Give it God to me. Damn it, let's Travis. Go. Oh, God. oh Jesus Christ. So if we save the teacher, we kill that Shit. boy. What happened? And if he. He went for the gun. Oh God! So either one or the other gets Grab killed, except for Ben. Come on, move! You can't leave me like this. Please get me out. Okay. Oh, Larry. Oh, I hate that guy. Oh my gosh. I hate him with a passion. Like, ugh. He's making me so mad right now. I'm starting to hate Lily too, so...
screw them. <laughs> I feel like I'm being really mean, but I can't help it. I just, I really don't like them. Explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, Shut I up. don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We're the ones that shot him. Then you should have done the right thing and finished them off. What the hell is wrong with you? Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? What are you uh, doing for the group? No. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Oh, Clementine. No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like oh, to you're think a you're sweetheart. the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're going to have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Screw you, Why Larry. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Well, I'm not giving it to you or Larry, so... Screw it. Don't look at me, Larry. Oh my gosh. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. What were you thinking bringing him here? Even if he lives, we aren't going to be able to take care of him. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Alrighty. So we're going to talk to these four here. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. 
I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Definitely Clementine is my favorite character. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Uh, crackers and cheese. I think that's okay. what she'll like. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Aww. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? Look at Clementine. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Oh, definitely. Definitely not you. Maybe Kenny? Or Carly? Maybe Mark. Maybe Kenny. What's that in his Word's hand? getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Oh. It probably won't... Anything won't change unless I give out food, so I don't know. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. So what if it's close to the drugstore? Keep store? an eye out. Fine. There's no food. There's nothing. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Back in a bit. Oh my gosh. I don't know who to hey, give the food to. is my friend going to make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe we just left Mr. Parker there. I tried. I really did. I just ran out of time. There was nothing else we could do. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The guy in the truck is Travis. He played in the school band with me. Mr. Parker was the band director, but... God, I can't believe we left him. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. Uh... I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. I don't know who to give we'll the get your friend food back to. to normal in no time. I sure hope so. 
Oh. So we're gonna talk to Mark. Screw Larry. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Oh my god. Hey, will the kid make it? I don't know. You know it was an accident, right? I didn't mean to shoot him. I know. It was crazy back there. Kid acted stupid. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily is pretty pissed at us. Well, what did she want us to do? Just leave a couple of teenagers to the walkers? That's exactly what you should have done. No, because we're not you, Larry. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Not giving it to you. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Mark, you should just leave him. Let him do his own thing. If that's what he wants. Not giving you any food. Screw you. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. So I think I'm going to give one more food to Le uh, not Larry. To Kenny. Want something to eat? Uh, half an apple or a piece of jerky. I feel like he's more of a jerky Here, guy. Kenny, take this. <laughs> How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Okay, so I don't know what to do. I feel like it's Lee, and Lee would give this to someone else other than himself, so. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Where is he? How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Uh -huh, I am. No, we'll give food to Ben just Want cause to eat? he has been through a lot. Here, Ben. After what you've been through, seems like you could use a pick me up. Seriously? I know food's scarce. This is really, I really appreciate it, man. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. Oh, Carly, I you're so envy. nice. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. <sighs> Ken, Lee, come here, please. Okay, you know what, you guys? I think I'm just going to end it right here because... 
I don't know. It's been already 25 minutes. So yeah, I think I'm going to end it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.